Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do maintenance on a tank. So yes guys, it's actually been about a month since we set this little tank up by here. This is a simple little beginner tank that I did a video on about a month ago, like I said. And you know, it's been doing really well, but uh, you know, it's due some maintenance and we're also going to be moving it to the customer's location today and uh, you know setting it up there and everything so i thought you know it's time to do some maintenance i haven't done any maintenance in the time that it's been running so this is the first time we'll be doing maintenance on this tank and yeah like i said it's just been doing really well uh, let me uh, flip the camera around and i'll show you a few things that have been going on all right guys so if you haven't actually seen the video where we set up this tank uh, go watch it i might link it up here somewhere or it'd be in the description or just find it on the channel somewhere um, it's about a month ago from when we published this so uh, yeah but it's been doing really well as you can see plants are growing in nicely we do have a bit of melt back from this one plant here the althanthra uh, Reiniki, I think, or whatever. Anyway, it's a red plant and it hasn't... Oh, I think it was the Althanantha Cardinalis or whatever. Um, so that's melted back, so I'll take that out. Uh, then you can see a bit of, you know, brown algae on the Anubis here. Totally normal. Uh, we call these diatoms. And it really hasn't been too bad. Usually everything is covered in it. But it's only the Anubis here a little bit. And... Uh, for the rest not much and you know these plants have just been growing lovely as you can see nice plants just you know stem plants always do the trick and we've got some grasses here as well and then we've got our filter and heater and one th weird thing here is we've got uh, the heater and there's some kind of like I don't know slimy stuff on it I've got no clue what this is never seen this before um, but we'll you know clean that as well Anyway, so the first step would be, you know, take your lid off or whatever and turn off your uh, filter, maybe, um, and like heater because you don't want those running while you're doing maintenance. Um, so yeah, let's get the uh, lid off and then we can work on the tank. Right, so we're simply just going to turn off everything and take this off. Oh, as you can see, there's a bit of condensation in here. So I'm just going to take the lid off. Then it's just, uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn off the heater and the filter. Right. So with those turned off, I usually like to take those out first. So I've just got my bucket here and then, you know, we're just going to take this out, especially because it's got that slimy stuff on it. We want to take that out for sure. And then we'll also take the filter out, I think, as well. So there we go. Right. So first thing I like to do is just drain a little bit of the water out since, you know, it's otherwise going to be way too much to work on. And while you're uh, sucking some water out with the hose, um, you can get some debris out and everything like that, of course. Um, to start a siphon, really simple. You just grab the hose like this, suck it, and then it'll start uh, flowing. So just like this. And then the water is flowing already. Um, some people don't like to do it that way. There are multiple different ways to do it, but this is just the way I like to do it. Just nice and simple and easy. And if you're the only one sucking the hose, then what's the issue, you know? Um, anyway, so we're just gonna suck a little bit out here, grab all the dead leaves and stuff because of course plants are transitioning so there are gonna be dead leaves and everything like that. Um, and you wanna just, you know, drain that out until you have some nice working space. Of course it depends on the size of tank on how much working space you need. However, then I like to just take a sponge, a regular sponge. You can also buy sponges, but just a regular sponge to do the dishes with. Wash the dishes is just fine. And then I just like to give the front glass a little scrub, actually all sides of the glass. Even if you can't really see any algae, I like to do it anyway because there's always some kind of tiny particles that you didn't know were there and it just makes, you know, sense to just do it because it really doesn't take that much time if you don't have a massive tank like this. You know, with a tiny tank like this, it's done in seconds really. And, uh, you know, just uh, scrub it down a little bit. It really doesn't have to be difficult. Just a little bit down here. Get into the edges nicely. And, you know, there we go already. That's the front glass done. And then you just want to repeat that for all the sides. Right, so what I like to do now is just where you see this uh, brown algae, just rub it off with your fingers if it's on plants. Because 
it's definitely possible. Maybe I can zoom in here as well so you can actually see what I'm doing. Yeah, just, just like so. So I'm literally just going over and just, uh, you know, rubbing the algae off. It just makes the plants look a little bit better. Uh, you won't get everything fully off, of course. But just the majority and that already works a treat. You can also use some kind of brush for this if you wanted to. But usually the brush is a bit more difficult. Especially if it's just soft algae like this that brushes off really easily with your fingers. Just use your fingers, you know. It's uh, really not that difficult. And it makes the plant look better. And you, it's like you can be more delicate with your fingers rather than a brush. Remove any dead leaves. If you find any dead leaves, just take them off. Even leaves that don't look too good, take them off as well. Because then you promote that the plant puts energy in new leaves instead of those old dead leaves that are not going to do anything and don't look pretty. So, you know, you want to just take everything off. And there you go, that's looking much better as well. There's a tiny bit of algae on the wood I can see, but I'm just going to leave that. It's really not bothering me. And I'm just going to take these, uh, this Althanan for this red plant out, because there's hardly anything left of it. And I may as well just take everything out. Uh, and it makes it look better and then there's space for other plants which we'll actually grab from this tank since we need to trim some plants as it's uh, a little overgrown I would say or it's just do a trim you know uh, get it nice and neat and tidy okay we're now going to be trimming some plants and basically what you want to do is you want to have some type of tweezers at least I used to like I you I like to use tweezers you don't have to, you can also use your hands of course. Then you could use scissors, but you can also just use your fingers, which is fine. And simply what you're gonna do, the plant that's too long for stem plants, is you're gonna go there and say you wanna say, okay, I want this length, just cut it off. And then you've got a little uh, plantlet just like that. And then you can put that in your tweezers and then you can plant that right back in wherever you want. You know, you can put it next to it or yeah do whatever you want with it move it to another tank if you wanted to and just repeat that process for all the plants that you want to trim or the uh, all the things that you think are a bit too long and then uh, you know really simply you've plant you've trimmed your plants All right, so I've trimmed the plants and everything is looking good now again. Maybe if I put the light on, you can see it a, a little bit better. Um, I haven't trimmed some stems. I've left a bit longer just to give that more effect, but it'll grow back nicely again within no time. And um, now it's time to drain a bit more of the water. I would say, you know, about 50% uh, in total and get all the debris out of the bottom and everything you want. And yeah, then we'll go from there. Right, and now we're at the sink. Uh, so what you want to do now is clean your filters, of course. Um, so we here in the Netherlands can just do this with tap water. However, depending where you live, you might not want to do it with tap water since you might have like chlorine and chloramines in your water. Um, then, you know, you want to make sure to uh, do it in some tank water to not kill most of the bacteria off. And, uh, you know, I'm simply just uh, taking a few things apart uh, spraying them through just like this and then we come to the spongy bit in here which I'll just take out and just give it a nice little rinse it's really not that dirty actually and then you know once that is clean just put it back in same for you know your heater if you need to clean that I'm just gonna clean this uh, slime off here a little bit okay and then you just want to get your filter and heater back in um, so let's see if this is possible, put it in just like so, and then we have the heater as well that will just pop in. Okay, well now it's time to fill the tank back up. Um, you can just use tap water for this, but if you, uh, you know, have chlorine in your tap water, you want to dechlorinate with some Aquastart or Aquasafe or whatever you use. Um, and then, you know, that should be all good. So uh, yeah, let's uh, fill the tank up. Now, important when filling up, you want about the same temperature as the tap, uh, as the tank water. It doesn't have to be perfect, but aim to you know do about the same. And then you just want to fill it up really slowly. You don't want to disturb any of the substrate or the plants or anything like that. Sometimes a watering can is easier. 
but a bucket is also definitely possible. Right, there we go, we are full again. And as you can see, it might be a little bit misty. Um, at this point, you also wanna grab out, maybe with your net, uh, just grab out all the floating uh, little particles. So if you just grab a net like this, then you know, you can just scoop out all, you know, there's some plant leaves and maybe some, some you know, different types of things. Scoop those all out because they're no benefit in the tank. And you know, that way it's just nice and clean. And yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now last thing left is, you know, to clear this all up and then just put the lid back on, of course. So then, you know, you might have your lid back on and you might realize, oh, you haven't filled it enough. You can just, you know, buy this gap, do it with a tiny little thing, fill it up further. Um, but you know, that's pretty much done. Right, so there we go, guys. Tank is all ready. As you can see, I left those a little longer um, so they can just grow further like that. And then some I've replanted right by there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking good, you know. Um, hardly any algae, which is nice. And this is just gonna be a nice little tank. So now, of course, you wanna turn your filter and your heater back on, and then you're pretty much done. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you do maintenance on a tank, you know, a little beginner tank that we set up about a month ago. Um, go watch that video, by the way, if you haven't already, because you'll enjoy that for sure. Um, but, you know, it's just really easy. Maintenance is really not that difficult. It just consists of, you know, cleaning the algae off, uh, like the, the glass and the plants and the wood. Um, and then doing a little water change, clean the filter, and that's pretty much it. So, you know, if you have fish in here, um, it's a, maybe a little bit more difficult because you don't want to suck up the fish and that kind of stuff, but it's pretty much the same process. And now this tank would be ready for fish, I would say. Uh, definitely, you know, test your water, see if it's ready, and if it is, you can add some fish in. So later today, I'll be putting this, uh, I'll be placing this tank at the customer's house and everything, and they'll be adding fish, I think, in a couple of days' time. Uh, they are gonna get fish from me, because it's an all-inclusive set, so they get everything for a certain price. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, don't forget, we have a channel sponsor, Kings Aquariums and Antwerp. Their links are all down below. Also, join our Discord server where there's a you know good community of fish enthusiasts uh, and even breeders and, and even experts. Uh, so join that down below. The link will be. Um, and also, become a member if you want to, to help support what I do, everything that I do here in the fish room. Um, yeah, if you want to support me, consider becoming a member the link is also down below but that's going to be it don't forget to like and subscribe of course and also comment down below you know let me know what you think of the way i do maintenance do you do it differently or whatever let me know in the comments down below but anyway watch this video next which is you know the previous video really of setting this tank up go watch that next i think you'll enjoy it have a great day and i'll see you guys next time